Hello YouTube, it's Captain Planet again, here to do a review. Um, this review is going to be a little bit weird because this is not something that is new. It's actually been out for like ever and actually got a reissue. But I was looking at this wall of SH Video Arts and I was like, man, what really pops? What, what do I want to review? Because I don't want to just review the newest thing. That's not fun. It's... So... I looked at that shelf and I saw Kickhopper here. Kickhopper was one of my first figure arts I ever owned. Um, so I guess he's kind of special in that way, but like, I took him out of the box recently and I realized how awesome he is. Like, even by normal, like, what figure arts has become the standard, he is still still really awesome and he holds up really well so that's why i want to review him today because i mean not everybody owns this and it's real cheap and i feel like everybody common rider fans sentai fan they should own this because this this is just an awesome figure and i'm, I'm gonna show you why right now i'm gonna stop talking and you can see my hand in the i am going off the glare anyways so here's kickhopper not not a common Rider kick hopper. Oh, wait. I gotta show you the box. <sighs> and bam. Oh, I gotta close it up. Man, I am... I fudged this whole review. Anyways. Here's here's the box. I'm gonna angle up here. Okay. There's the box. The kick hopper right there. I got mine from Bluefin, so I get the nice little fancy warning label hiding the common Rider Kabuto logo. I don't know what the heck that says. There's Toei. We get Masquerada Kikopa. And then up here we get SH Figure Art Standard of Stuff and Fancy Things. And then on the top we get Masquerada Kikopa and SH Figure Arts. And then on the, this is the fanciest part. Because on that shelf you know, you get, like, you can see up here, you get, like, you got, like, Gokai Red and Ekiba Red, but, like, and you get some, like, continuation down here with, like, the Forza and stuff, but, like, this. I wish that they had kept this style, where you get a nice little, I guess, side view of of the rider. That's cool. They they stopped doing that after the first, yeah, it's the common Rider of the first figures. Or is it the next? I don't know. They're the same riders. And after Kick Hopper and Punch Hopper, they, they never did it again. But it just, it looks so cool and it looks so fancy when it's spined like this. And it says Mass Rider Kick Hopper, and it, it's the same on this side too. And it, I just, I wish that they had continued to do this because this is, this is like awesome collector stuff right there. Anyways, we're gonna look on the back, bring this up close. We get SH figure or zoom in, yeah. SH figure art, something, 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 something. Oh, holy crap, I can read that. That's an ellipsis. Ellipsis, something, 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 something. I ain't going, going away from that. SH figure art, simple style, heroic action. And on the back here, look at you get kick hopper. Doing a really awesome like stance that really shows off figure arts. I mean, he's it's hard to tell because my light. I'm just my lighting here, and I you can't really see it still, but he he is up oh, there. We go now. I can see he is on his toe, right there, and it's just it's cool. You get you get some crappy ramen, and you get this pose, and t t here's. Kick Hopper with super now expensive Punch Hopper that I still really, really want. And look at that face sculpt. And then here we get some warnings. And then on the back, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's different from all the other warnings. We get the barcode, we get some stuff. And then we get this fancy little bluefin warning about how it needs to be handled with care and store out of reach of kids under the age of 15 this thing has stuff that people can swallow so don't don't let your kid play with common rider toys anyways time to get kick hopper back into frame kick hopper is like super awesome we're gonna look at the sculpt first and then i'll get into articulation so 
light on. So we're going to start off with the head and we're going to actually get things into focus. And look right there. Look at those compound eyes. They're like hypnotic. And the lenses do this. You can see it in the video how it just kind of like blurs and it bends those compound eyes and you get the jewel right there and it just this head sculpt is one of my favorites the only thing that i don't like is the seam right here but that's fine that's cool i am that is something that i'm willing to let go because this this head sculpt just just awesome and lighting everywhere and just changes so much and you look down here you get chest you get the uh, I think it's I can't remember I haven't seen Kabuto in probably three years now so you get the the Zector yeah that's what it's called I, don't, I think it's like the hopper Zector I don't know and it's, it's a Zector and then you look down the side you get plastic here but then you get shiny plastic here or metal, I don't know. I never really like bothered to check if that's just shiny paint because it doesn't chip off because he's fallen. He has fallen and hit the ground hard, and that does not chip. Also, these are a little bit more durable than uh, like other rider horns. If you're wondering. Oh, and these shoulder pads, they're they're soft but like sturdy, and they're pointy as the hell. Same uh, here, here, and here. So yeah, there's sharp objects like all over this guy. And then like he's just, he's so detailed and we're going to focus in on stuff. And then look at that shiny, shiny, shiny. And then we get the, it's the grasshopper thing. I'm just going to call it the grasshopper thing. I forget the technical or show term, but it it folds up and down when you do rider kick for him, and he just he's beautiful. Like even the back is sculpted. It just he 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 looks wonderful. Just everything is so right about him. So as always, I'm going to look at the articulation. I'm going to start from the bottom and go to the top and turn off the light because we don't need to see too much detail we just need to see that he in fact moves so down here at the foot hold on hold on we're going to get into focus he uh his feet do some fancy stuff but first he, he's got the toe everybody knows that um He's got ankles. He's got metal feet. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're metal feet. Yeah, they're metal feet. And he's got ankle articulation, but he has it like in two places. He he can bend here, like you saw. Then he bends up here. It's awesome. It's, it's like bald joints on hinges, and it's super cool. And then you get double joint knee. You get the uh, this type of figure arts hip that actually gives you some good mobility. And Ryder designs this style of hip joint does not always look good. When you do it, it breaks up like the, I guess, the suit design. But for him, it works out really well. It helps that he's kind of slender and he doesn't, like, have a whole lot of, like, armory bits. It's just, like, this is supposed to be, like, spandexy and crab. But, yeah, the, the hips on here, they really work here. And moving on up. Moving on up to the east side. To our hip articulation. Okay, I'm gonna start. He, uh, he can have crunch. He, he actually has a deceptively better ab crunch than what you think he would have. Arm, get out of the way. He can bend, like, that far back, he can, he can get some good, good ab crunch. Even with this, like, big, huge, honking piece of armor right here. So, we're going to look at the arms, going the other way. I'm not always going to be looking at the left side, we're going to be looking at the right side. You get 
the full 360. Um, his shoulder pads, they drove me nuts when I first got them, but they, they just kind of stick out like, like this. They don't actually go all the way down. It's accurate to the show, it just, I don't know, drove me nuts. And they get out of the way of everything, not that they really have far to move. Continuing on, we got bicep swivel, double joint, wrist, can go every which way, and he's fancy like that. And then we'll go up to the head. The head can actually emote really well. Like, it helps that he has a very characterful face, and he just he motes so well you can get that kind of dark look you know you just you have such an expressive face with such a good neck joint it, it's seriously it, it's amazing how good it like like this is probably why he is one of my most favorite figures is just this head joint and, and face sculpt he looks amazing and now we're going to move on to accessories, so you're just going to have to go away. So, he doesn't come much for accessories, not that he needs it, because in the show he just kind of kicked people. Anyways, we get two calm hands, they just kind of lay to the side. And then you get two splayed hands. And then you also get the two fists that were on him that you saw, and you get the bowl of ramen! That he used to eat in the show and I don't know if I can get all the like if I can focus in on this it is not liking that white too much let's see if I can turn on the flesh and make it any better no ah oh, there we go yup there's a fully detailed barcode you get Everything is just detailed on this bowl of ramen. On this... Like, pointless. This is this is pointless. They just detailed it up. And this is back in the day when figure arts were just starting. That's how good that is. Like, the amount of detail that was put into this figure is just amazing. Anyways, I'm going to pose them up and do some final thoughts real fast. Alright, so final thoughts on SH Figure Arts Kick Hopper. Um, I really like this this toy. Um he is extremely good as far as design of a toy. Like he came out just a few years ago and he already he still holds up as a figure. There are some figures that I feel don't hold up over time. Those being, like, Kamen Rider Black RX and a lot of the first and the next figures, I don't feel, by comparison to what Figure Arts does now, hold up. Just through proportions and show accuracy and stuff. But that's besides the point. This, this figure... Oh, I accidentally bumped him. This figure is just, it's amazing. He, the, uh, the amount of posability in him at times actually exceeds what modern figure arts can do. I mean, it's not hard when I'm making comparisons to like O's and stuff because those figures, especially if you had Bata legs, didn't stand very well. But if, like, just overall engineering of this toy, it's it's great. I would almost say that, like, if you are a fan of Kamen Rider, you don't know how you feel about toys, like action figures and stuff, but you want to get some, like, Kamen Rider stuff, I would say buy this. This is one of the cheapest figure arts there is, and he's just engineered so well. And, like, like, if I hadn't gotten Black RX as my first figure art, 
this would have probably been my first one, and it's definitely, I feel like, one of those gateway figures where once you buy this and you like it, you're pretty much going to want to start collecting them. Anyways, I, this review's gone on too long, and I don't know, I guess it's a little bit biased, but that's what reviewing is, I guess. Well, anyways, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want me to review, I guess, especially in the modern figure arts. I'm looking more into that. Um, not doing a whole lot of backtracking as far as collecting figure arts, but I'm willing to, especially for some of the Tamashi web exclusives I'm willing to backtrack for. But, like I said, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. If there's anything that you want me to do better, like get better lighting or a background so that you don't have to look at my monitor or my bookshelf over here or this desk, just uh, send me a message or a comment. Like I said, I'm open to criticism. Anyways, this, this review has gone on like way too long, so I'm just going to end it here and give you one final look at your gateway drug to figure arts.